Today we're going to cut up some marble tile to make a tabletop that can be used for a coffee table or a small dining table. This video is sponsored by Xiaomi and we'll tell you a little bit more about their smart home products later in the video. I need to cut 12 pieces of tile so I made a template out of 3 quarter inch thick MDF to help guide those cuts. I designed the template so that I could get two pieces out of each 12 by 24 inch marble tile. After drawing straight lines with a pencil, I just used my circular saw to follow those lines. This scrap piece of MDF was pretty beat up, so I just gave it a quick sanding with my orbital sander before sealing it with some water-based polyurethane. To cut the tile, I'm going to try my new Ryobi multi-material saw with a diamond blade. When you push down on the saw, the blade drops below the guard and begins to cut the material. I made multiple passes, cutting about an eighth of an inch with each pass. On the first few pieces, I think I pushed down a little bit too hard on the first few passes and created a little bit of chip out. For the next set, I fully dropped the saw down and cut in from the side and I got a much cleaner cut by just working slowly through with a single pass. This geometry goes to a pretty narrow point and those points were tending to break off so I decided to modify the template and just use my angle grinder to cut these short pieces. As I cut more pieces, I really got the hang of the multi-material saw and started to get more consistently clean edges. I then used a flat disc on my angle grinder to round over the cut edges. Marble is a relatively soft stone and so this didn't take too long. The flap disc is great because it works really fast, but it leaves the surface a little bit rough, so I then went over it with first 150 grit paper and then finished with 220 grit with my orbital sander. The tile is going to be supported by two layers of 3 quarter inch thick plywood. I laid out all the cut pieces and then used popsicle sticks to define even spacing. Popsicle sticks are great for tasks like this, they're about 16th of an inch thick. And you can just keep adding or subtracting them until you get a nice even layout. I traced the outline of all the tile and then removed them and cut out this star shape with my jigsaw. Now I want to double up this plywood but I also don't want an edge that's too thick. So I traced the first star shape and then drew parallel lines about an inch and a half inside from the first set of lines. I then cut out this slightly smaller star shape and routed the edges at a 45 degree angle. I also cut out the space in the middle with the jigsaw and routed those edges as well. I glued the two pieces together and now I have nice tapered edges that don't look too thick, but I still have an inch and a half of plywood to support the tile. I use exterior latex paint to paint everything white and then screwed on some hairpin legs that I got from Semi-Exact. I'm going to use construction adhesive to glue the tile down. I probably should have used pure silicone because natural stones like marble tend to stick a little bit better with silicone, but I just applied a lot of the construction adhesive and the tabletop has held up fine. I applied weights near the center of the table and 99 cent spring clamps from Home Depot around the edges. Once the construction adhesive had fully cured, I wiped the tabletop down with mineral spirits to clean it and then applied some Fusion Pro grout in bright white. I really like this single component grout. It has a little bit more flex than traditional grout and is incredibly stain resistant. I used a rubber float just to push it into all the cracks and then a sponge and a microfiber cloth to wipe it down. I used a putty knife to push it into the cracks between the tile and the plywood and then used a rubber float to scrape off the excess. Now this tile had been sitting out in the scrap pile for some time and it got a little bit nicked and scraped. So I just used my orbital sander with 220 grit paper to sand down any scratches so that everything would be nice and smooth. This does mean that I'll have to reseal the surface of the marble to prevent staining. So I wiped it all down, cleaned it with some stone countertop cleaner, and then applied some seal. This was actually really easy to do. I wanted to use the center void for a plant, so I drilled some holes using my Ryobi rotary tool so I could wire up this terracotta flower pot that I painted white. 
I screwed some hooks into the bottom of the tabletop so that I could attach the wires. And if I'm not using the flower pot, I'll use these hooks to manage cables. This video is sponsored by Xiaomi, which makes a really nice collection of smart home products. We make a lot of pour over coffee using a Chemex here at Maker Ranch, and this hot water kettle is perfect for that. It has a bunch of different temperature settings, so you can calibrate it to brew the perfect pot of coffee. In addition to the precise temperature control, it also pours really cleanly, which allows us to make pour over coffee without a mess. This tabletop would also work well for a cafe table with 28 inch tall legs. These are legs that I made out of angle steel for a previous project, and the angular geometry looks great with this top. This version of the table would work great in the corner of a kitchen, or even outdoors on a patio. The hole in the center is great for cord management, and after looping through one of our Conway electric plugs, we decided to try out the Xiaomi Compact Projector. I absolutely love this product. It has a really clean, minimalist design. The speaker is built into the front face, and the picture quality is really sharp. You can set it up in a variety of different ways. You can plug in your smartphone or your laptop to play directly from that, but what we decided to use was to use the Wi-Fi connection so that we could watch Netflix directly from the projector itself. This is perfect for Jessie, who likes to watch a little Netflix on in the background while she sends out her emails. Oh, and speaking of Netflix, check out Andrew Schultz's comedy special, which I was a producer on. I'll put links to all of these products in the description box below, but be sure to check them out. They're fantastic. I really love how this project came out and was really happy that I was able to use some leftover tile to make it. Admittedly, some of the cut edges came out a little bit ragged, but most of them came out real clean. Using marble as a tabletop surface allows you to make a piece of furniture that works both indoors and out, and shifting the geometry really lets you give simple, inexpensive tile a completely new look. Be sure to check out the old table video I did where I made these angular legs. And if you haven't subscribed to our videos, go ahead and click that button. We'd really appreciate it. All right, thanks everybody. Bye.